good woman according to the Bible. Amen. And we talk about the virtuous woman. Amen. The Bible talks about, in Proverbs 31, define a virtuous woman as one who leads her home with integrity, yeah. discipline, and more. Mm -hmm. And all the virtues she practiced are aimed yeah. at making her yeah. husband life better. Yes. Yeah. Where did that come from? We gotta make a husband life better. <laughs> But, 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 but that's what he said, so we have to go with it. <laughs> and we have to follow and obey that, you know? Teaching your children and serving God. Eventually, it's, it's the meaning of the word you want. It means, it's, it means behavior showing high moral standing. Something that makes it process of good. Mr. Willis is a person Hallelujah. is morally good. Excellent and admirable person who acts and feels as she should. Yes. And that's what we should this woman yeah. should, should do. What does it mean to be a virtuous person? Someone virtuous, they have done what they ought to do and feel very pleased with themselves and with God. Yeah. We can't leave God out because we can't do anything without Him. Yeah. So the point is that I want to talk about the first woman. There's other women in the Bible, so I say that for another time. The Spirit told me to talk about women. We always talk about the men. What they did and what they didn't do. What about these women? There's a whole lot of women in the Bible. But we're going to start off with the first one. I'll save the other ones for the next time. We're going to talk about Eve. Yeah. Okay. Let's meet Eve. Oh, Lord, uh, let's meet Eve, Eve again. Eve was the Eve. first woman on earth, Amen. according to the Bible, mm -hmm. in Genesis. Mm -hmm. She was the first wife mm -hmm. and the first mother. Yeah. She is known as the mother of all the living. Yes. So we, we know about that part. So Eve, Eve's accomplishments was significant. For the most part, let's see what it say about her. For the most part, it said, we got we to gotta make this all about Eve. Uh -huh. For the most part, uh, it was found in Genesis. And God decided it would be a good for Adam to have a companion and a helper, causing Adam to fall deeply asleep. So God took one of his ribs. We read that story yeah. over and over again. So that's why I want to start off with her, so we can get, meet the other one. But we have to start off with the first one. And when he, God took a, a rib and used it for, to form Eve, and God called the woman Ezar, uh -huh. which in Hebrew means help. Mm. And Adam named the woman Eve, mm, which means life. Mm. 